Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Real Science Exchange, the pubcast where leading scientists and industry professionals meet over a few drinks to discuss the latest ideas and trends in animal nutrition. Hi, I'm Scott Sorrell. I'm here with my co-host, once again, Dr. Clay Zimmerman. Uh, Clay and I are, are here at the ADSA uh, scientific uh, meetings here in Ottawa, Canada. And what we're doing this week is going to be a little bit different podcast. We, uh, Clay and his team have selected uh, 10 abstracts of interest that they, uh, they thought was interesting. And we're going to be recording about 10 uh, minute segments of each of those. And we're going to stitch those into a podcast, actually two podcasts. So this is going to be the first of two. So be sure to listen to the second one that uh, comes a bit later. Clay, wanted to ask you real quick. Um, so. I don't know how many abstracts were presented here, but a lot. You narrowed it down to 10. What was the criteria you used in selecting those uh, abstracts? So certainly um, abstracts that would be of interest to our listening audience. That's probably the first criteria. Okay. Um, so abstracts that we you know, think has some take home messages for our audience. Certainly you know, very nutrition focused as far as what we're looking at and, um, and as applicable as possible yeah. for can, our audience. Can you kind of give us a flavor of maybe two, three, four, um, some of the topics that they'll be hearing about? Yep, so there will be, um, there, um, as typical with us, there will be a few related to choline. Okay. Um, certainly, cer certainly we're basic in that. So um, some, uh, a little bit of follow-up work to, to some that were presented a year ago. Um, there are some um, amino acid related topics, um, which is certainly a big interest of ours. And some, a uh, few related actually to, to, the, uh, to the dairy beef sector, mm -hmm. um, as that's, that's certainly growing in, in interest as, a, as another income stream for the dairies. Great, looking forward to that. Clay, our loyal listeners will know that uh, our uh, Pubcast takes place in a virtual pub with real drinks. What they don't know that when it comes time to pay the tab, uh, Clay's got these little short little alligator arms and I end up having to pay the tab. But that's not gonna be a problem tonight. We have a guest with us here uh, who's, who's promised to pick up the tab, right? And, and that's o, uh, Omid McDonald. And he is the founder of Vodcal. And so that happened, he's, we're actually enjoying some Vodkal tonight. So I'm gonna ask you first, Clay, what's in your glass tonight? Um, I have some orange Vodkal. Okay. So it could become a new favorite here, supplanting the, uh, the hard cider. Right, do you have hard cider flavored Vodkal? No? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds, that sounds tasty. No, that would be a good one. Uh, and what's in your glass tonight, Omid? I've got the uh, coffee Vodkal cream. Coffee. And this is actually my second chocolate. This stuff is dope, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ahmed, what I'd like you to do is just kind of give us a background. How'd you come up with the idea to, to, to create these drinks? So I wanted to uh, open a craft distillery and uh, never really f found an idea that I thought could become a business. And uh, one day my uh, cousin had come back from his uncle's dairy farm and was talking about milk being dumped. I was like, hey, can we turn that into booze? And so with some research, discovered it's been done, going back to the Mongols, Genghis Khan would drink a oh, wow. uh, fermented mare's milk, which apparently wasn't very tasty, but mm. it worked for him. And uh, in the 70s, people actually fermented uh, milk sugar to make uh, fuel for cars. And so I was like, okay, let's see if we can do that. So I tried I had to find a source of, uh, of sugar and was able to do so. Oh, this, is, this is good stuff. I usually drink bourbon, but uh, I'm, I'm staying with this stuff from now on. <laughs> Yeah, um, so how many different uh, flavors do you have? So, well, first we start by uh, making our uh, vodka vodka. That's where we started as the base for all our uh, cream liqueurs. And so we take this dairy byproduct called milk permeate. So after they've taken the, the proteins and the fat of the milk, they have all the lactose left over. And normally that just gets fed to pigs or, or dumped in a digester. So we take that sugar in, ferment it, and turn it into pure alcohol. Mm -hmm. which we make vodka with. And then we take that vodka and blend it with Canadian cream and we make it uh, lactose free uh, as well. And so uh, tonight we're uh, trying our chocolate, which it seems that you really enjoy. I do enjoy yeah, it. It is 17% <laughs> alcohol, so that might explain it. Uh, we have our coffee here, which I'm enjoying. Uh, and both these products, we work with our makers in our hometown of Alma, which is 40 minutes from here. So uh, 
welcome you guys to Ottawa. And uh, if you ever have a chance to come out to the distillery, I'd encourage that. And then we have our new orange cream liqueur, which is great for the summer. I also understand that you guys have some sort of a venture going with some uh, uh, folks down in, in Michigan. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so as we learned about uh, this Permia, we discovered that this problem of uh, excess lactose is a big one for dairy. As people are uh, eating more cheese and yogurt and drinking less fluid milk, there's more and more lactose left over. So we said, okay, well, what are the big uh, applications? And one of that is fuel. Uh, taking the ethanol and blending it with transportation fuel. So about two and a half years ago, the Michigan Milk Producers Association reached out to us. They were originally interested in vodka and we're like, well, with all your uh, permeate, that would be 47 million bottles of vodka. That's a bit much mm. for us to sell. How about we make biofuel? And so last month we publicly announced this project that we'll be making 2 million gallons of uh, biofuel from the milk permeate. Mm. Oh, excellent. Listen, uh, Appreciate you uh, coming here tonight. Can you tell us how um, people, if they want to look into this further, how can they contact you? You have a uh, website? Yeah, you can go to vodka.com to learn about the spirits or dairydistillery.com to learn what we're doing on the ethanol side. We don't have a full distribution in the U.S. yet. We're working on that. But uh, for all the visitors here at the uh, conference, they could come to our little booth and try some out and pick up a bottle. And then hopefully we'll get distribution in the U.S. in the coming year. Awesome. Thank you for joining us tonight to a successful Cheers. ADSA. Cheers. Cheers.